Hello crochet crafters. On our last video we just created the glammy eyes for this chicken pot holder in 100% cotton. Again you want it to be 100% cotton for the no burns. Everything we're using, all the yarn is 100% cotton. And on my other green chicken pot holder I act actually crocheted a beak because I thought that worked with the pattern that we were using for the head. But now that we have this straight line style, I think for this particular pot holder, I'm going to go ahead and make a beak that is just sewn right into the material here, the, I mean the yarn. So what you want to do is if you have pins or you have place markers, you want to make sure that you count in each stitch evenly until you get to where you think. So I want to do these three stitches, I think, in, and I'm going to use the front loops only uh, to create my, I'll use this. Um, now, if you, again, if you want to mark it because you haven't been doing this for a long time, you know, go ahead and mark it because that's really the only way to make sure that you're going to have it completely correct. But I'm actually sewing just as if I would sew a, you know, a dress or anything like that. I'm just actually doing a sewing pattern back and forth. So to create this, I'm going back into the same one again, coming back through and that's knotting, it's knotting that one. And then I'm gonna take the next loop down and bring the next loop in, and I'm bringing it in. I'm not going quite one over because what I'm doing is I'm gonna create like a triangle effect with those loops. I'm gonna come back through this loop. So it's essentially, you know, if you've ever darned a stocking or you like to sew, if you really love to sew and you, and you wanna incorporate sewing with crocheting, this is an awesome way to do that because we've created, we're creating a beak and I'm going to again, bring it into a triangle mode. So I'm going to bring that loop right here. And as I'm doing this, I'm having a lot of fun doing it, but I just want to like pop over to the back and just make sure, so you can see the eyes from the back and you can see some of the orange, but the, the, the key here is just to make sure, I have a little puff here, just the key is to make sure you're not, if you're going to sell these, you wanna make sure that you don't have any kind of back, you know, paraphernalia as far as gobbledygook that is gonna show because that's not what you wanna be able to sell. And again, I'm looping in, I'm, com I'm coming one down because I'm trying to create a triangle now. And it's maybe, maybe not, it's a perfect triangle, but it's kind of what I've decided to do. And again, you can be creative as you want with this. You can tie this off any way you want because you know what? There's no perfect set way to sew a beak on. And if you'd rather use my green tutorial and crochet the beak and bring that in, because this is sort of just a, a random, you know, fun way to play with creating a beak. And what I'm going to do is like I do with most of my videos is I cut this off because I looped it around and tied it. I don't like that. It doesn't it doesn't allow me to be creative. It doesn't allow me to see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna come back through underneath to kind of give that beak the point I want it to have. And I don't like how that yellow loop is showing there. When I tied that off, that yellow loop kind of gives me a... Now, if, if, I'm, if, if I'm doing this and you're going, oh my God, I can't follow her. The sewing is too hard. Again, you don't have to sew. You can definitely go back to the video that I have that with the crochet and then kind of stitch it on after the fact. And I'm not using 
any pattern to do this. I'm just using a random sewing stitch and I'm going to right now tie off like you would tie off if you were darning a sock. And I tied off and I made that beak just the way I wanted it to look. So it's got kind of a little bubble effect. It's different than my other beak and it's just unique to this particular pot holder. So there's my beak. I started at the top, went across and kind of came down to the point and then pulled it back up through. No perfect way, but again, I may have, I guess I, so I'm not completely without a little color back here, but uh, unfortunately I made one little era here and pulled it through the yellow. It's not really no that noticeable. I still don't like to do that though. Anyways, that's your beak for today. And tomorrow we will go ahead and make some puff stitch arms and some feet for this wonderful pot holder. And then I think we'll, we'll call it a day. Thank you.